So it took me a lot longer than I was expecting to make an update video about uh, the printer fixes, let's say. Uh, what you see right here is the official K1 Max print bed. Um, there are big differences between the heater mat that I had uh, from AliExpress and the one from Creality itself. First of all, these cables right here are not that clearly labeled uh, from AliExpress. It's just an A, B, C and D cable, something like that going on, not some clear labeling what the voltage is and things like that. Also, you keep in mind that this wire length is not cut at the right length already, it's, it's longer. So just keep that in mind that you probably want to reference this cable length and cut it at its length. Also, this protective sleeve is not around the original heater bed uh, thing. did not really realize that, so it took me... Uh, a second attempt to install the heater bed, I realized, oh shit, this is not installed already. Need to buy it separately. Also, these fork connectors are not assembled on there already. Also, you need to cut the wire shorter anyway, so it would be you have to reinstall those yourself. So, you need to invest in a tool to clamp them on there, and you need to buy the connectors. Also very important to note is the wires. These wires are thicker than the one from the AliExpress um, heater mat. Then the second thing is this cable right here, the connector type. There was a connector on there, but it was not the correct model of connector. So you need to get that one separately as well and crimp it on. So, and then I have to also mention that this ground wire that is mounted on the bed, the bed itself does have an option to make a ground wire attaching, attaching ground wire on the print bed, but there is no ground wire included with the heater mat. So, there is a ground wire on there, it probably does something over here, but I cannot see what it does. So maybe it's not even an actual ground wire. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But at least not secondary or primarily attaching us to this bed to ground your bed. So I have quite a few issues with the heater mat from AliExpress. That one that I bought at least because it does not match this at all. Uh, it feels greatly off spec let's say it does fit on the in the build plate as you could see but yeah don't have a good feeling about it but I could find I could find some um, diagram let's say what the cable should be at what place it seems to be a copy of an US branded uh, heater mat so that's also kind of like they don't even even have their own diagram and only one seller showed the diagram or the sellers probably need to contact them to know what what it's supposed to be reinstalled so that's already kind of red flag right there then is the the next thing that is really an issue with this entire thing that i started and that kind of feels like a waste of money if you ask me is that the print bed uh, when it's cold, it's apparently okay-ish how, how the bed is. I will show it uh, in the screen right now when it is bed leveling. Um, but when you start to heat it up, uh, the back portion will stay probably at the same position or it is curling down. And then the middle part will rise, it will here, over here bump and then bump. Um, it will do all crazy stuff. Um, I've I've tried to heat, uh, just only on 60 degrees. Uh, did it le the bed leveling bed mesh directly after that when it reached the 60 degrees. Then I let it let it sit for 10 minutes. Did it again. Did again a bed match. Then I let it sit sit for 30 minutes and kind of see what happens. And did it again a bad mesh 
and then I let it let it cool down. I did not fully cool down to the original temperature from when I was starting it, but at a certain point it felt like okay, I'm done waiting. And did the the bed leveling again. You can see it's it's getting back to more more or less to the cold state. And then I did it on the second day again. It was the same thing. Basically how the bed is uh, the how the bed is it's relatively flat let's say but you can see it's totally not stable uh there was not the only time i tried this but this is the first there was more that i screenshotted so i could show it to you guys the first day that i uh, tried it that kind of the same thing going on and it was cold it seems to be fine uh, and used it to kind of get it roughly level let's say the bed but not uh, the, but then I was here just making prints and I noticed like oh my mesh is showing again that it's kind of all over the place it's an, an hill where it's sitting on and that doesn't seem to be good so that's why I was kind of investigating like what's going on so one thing that I kind of tested but probably not the proper way to do it so I was thinking maybe it's the heater mat so I removed the, the build plates the measurement I found it took even longer to measure it and uh, this is what I used it doesn't seem to be the proper tool for the test but at least I could kind of point it on a point and I did some measurements it took some time to get it to um, the temperature and it was also not getting the correct temperature but it can be because this is not the correct tool to use it was only getting uh, 45 degrees let's say but the main thing was there were some temperature fluctuations but it can be also my patience running out because it was really slow at the end to kind of go up a little bit one degree or, or another but the thing was basically at the first uh, row I did everything every let's say square then I did the middle and the corners right here and I did the same for the back so I did not did every square but then only three points well it basically told me it was all the same temperature over an entire metal plate so if this means that uh, the, this is really not correct the way I measure, that can be. Uh, that I need to really, in this case, then really wait a long time to really see the fluctuations in temperatures and therefore the expansion in the metal maybe. Then again you would say it would kind of should even out a little bit on this plate. You would think at least. Uh, so. And for now at least it doesn't really look like it's the heat emit necessarily that is causing um, the issues because you can also notice in the bed leveling thing that it is kind of fluctuating what is a high point, a point and low point so it kind of seems to be that this metal aluminium plate is really not temperature stable let's say and it will just fluctuate like crazy uh, one thing that I've kind of seen people say is like you should not over tighten these bolts that attach the bed to the, the mount let's say. The thing that I found when you would loosen those up a little bit I found that my bed leveling was kind of inconsistent. Also I can suspect that it will introduce uh, shake and things like that. So I did tighten those down. So it's the best as I kind of could, let's say. Maybe not doing over report, but you know what I mean. And not, not making it loose or anything like that. So that might be a thing. But what I suspect is that this is just not, not proper, let's say. But uh, yeah, so it turned in, in instead of an how to fix the K1 video more into a warning video probably or me not knowing what I'm doing and it's probably something I do something wrong maybe but I do think you're better off buying things from a different uh, place
place than AliExpress with this type of thing. Especially if you are located in the US, you got multiple places where you can buy products like this. Um, in Europe, probably not. But uh, yeah, that's at least um, where, where I'm at right now. Maybe I get some feedback that makes me go in a direction that I can diagnose a little bit better what's going on. But for now at least it is kind of where I'm at. I can print with it, but it's of course not what you pay for. In my mind, then I could just no use my normal print bed and have the same thing. So yeah, not, not worth the money if you ask me, let's say. Let's put it that way.